Hey everyone! What if I told you there's a secret code for your Fire Stick that unlocks the ultimate app store, giving you movies, live sports, PPV events, and global TV channels all completely free? In this video, I'll walk you step by step through the setup, so by the end your Fire Stick will be transformed into the ultimate streaming powerhouse with endless entertainment options. Let's get started. First, head over to your home screen and find the magnifying glass icon. Press down, then hit the center button on your remote. This will bring up a keyboard. Now, type in Downloader. It should pop up in the suggestions. Scroll down, highlight it, and click the center button. That will take you to the correct app, which is orange. Let's click it. This will open the app's page. Just click the center button one time, and it will start downloading to your device. Wait for it to reach 100%. Be patient. When it's finished, you'll see Launch Now. But do not open it yet. Now that it says Launch Now, press the Home button on your remote. Next, we need to go into your Fire Stick's settings for a crucial change. The fastest way to get there is to slide all the way to the right on your home screen. A menu will appear at the bottom. Slide down, and we're looking for the option that says, My Fire TV. If it's a very old device, it might even say, My Device instead. Whatever it's called or wherever it is, that's what we need to click. Let's click it together. After you click in, everyone's screen should look pretty similar. My screen might be slightly different because I already have developer options. If you don't see that, no worries. I'll show you exactly how to enable it. Just go up and click about. Then, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV device highlighted, click the center button on your remote nine times. After you do this, a message will appear that says, you are now a developer. Once you see that, press the back button and developer options will now be on this menu. Okay, let's click into developer options together. The very first thing you'll see is ADB debugging. Click the center button once to turn it on. A small box might pop up. Just slide down and click Allow. Next, click Install Unknown Apps. Scroll down to Downloader, then click the center button once to turn it on. If you have an older Fire Stick, this option might be missing entirely. Instead, it might say Apps from Unknown Sources, and you can only turn it on or off. If you see that, just turn it on. Now that we're all set, click the Home button on your remote. Now, we need to find that new downloader app. The quickest way to view all your apps is to slide almost all the way to the end and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows you every app you have. The newest apps always appear at the very bottom. Just scroll all the way down and... Let's click on Downloader together. A small box might pop up. Just click the center button to get rid of it. This app allows you to visit almost any website. To do that, click the center button two times and a keyboard will appear so you can type in a web address. Today, I'm going to take us to a special website. I'll show the code on the screen as I type. Be sure to type it exactly the same, or you might get an error. Take your time. Once you have the address typed correctly, click Go. Let's wait for it to finish. This might take a moment or two. Just be patient. If you see a connection error or a check link message, it means your connection is being blocked. Just turn on your VPN or switch its location, and that should fix the problem. As soon as the download is complete, it will ask you to set up the app. Just slide over and click Install. Once the setup is finished, slide over and click the Done button. Clicking Done brings us back to this screen. We're going to slide over, click Delete, and one more time, slide over and click Delete. All right, everyone, that's everything we needed from the Downloader app. Let's click the Home button. Next, we need to go back into your Amazon Fire Sticks settings and change one more thing. Remember, the easiest way to get to your settings is to slide all the way to the end. Then, once again, click the center button on My Fire TV or My Device. After that, click on Developer Options. And one more time, go into Install Unknown Apps. Go ahead and click that. This time, you'll see Unlin has appeared on the list. 
If you have other apps, just scroll down until Unlin is highlighted. And just like before, press the center button once to make sure Unlin is turned on. Now that everything's done, click the home button one more time. We need to find that new Unlin app. Again, just slide over and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. Slide to the very bottom. And right there is the new Unlin app we just added. Let's open it together. The first thing it asks for is a new library. Click the center button on your remote two times, like that. Another keyboard will pop up, asking for the library code. Folks, I created my own unique app store, giving access only to my viewers and followers. I worked hard to fill my store with only the best, newest apps. All I ask for my effort, keeping the apps up to date, creating this video, and answering your questions, is that you hit the subscribe button. That simple action tells me thank you for giving all of this away for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following me. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and type in this code. Make sure to take your time. It must be written exactly the same, or you might get an error. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Once you have that code typed correctly, click Next and give it a moment to load. Everyone, welcome to my special app store. I've packed it with 85 incredible apps for free on-demand content, sports, live TV, spicy content, and so much more. Many people ask for my favorites, and my top recommendations for cutting the cord are right here in the welcoming message. Also, many of you ask why a VPN is so important with these apps. I've included a short message here, so please take a moment to read all the info on the welcoming screen. After you've read everything, click the center button on your remote three times. This will group my store for you. Slide up and down to see different groups, or right and left for apps. Today, I'll show you a few apps, how the store works, how to add apps, and how to start enjoying your free entertainment. Now, scroll all the way down through the categories until you find category number 15, Great YouTube examples. So the first app I want to download here is IP Vanish VPN. It's my top pick for keeping everyone safe and private while using all these great apps. Some people have trouble downloading or even using apps because their internet provider blocks them. With IP Vanish VPN, you stay completely secure and can bypass any restrictions your internet company puts on you and all of your devices. To download IP Vanish VPN, you can highlight it and click download. Or what I prefer to do to always get the latest version is go back to the Fire Stick home screen, find the magnifying glass, scroll down, click the search bar, and when the keyboard pops up, type in IPVANISH. Sometime you will have to type it in fully to get it shown. So just take your time here. Type it in exactly as I am, then you'll see it in the suggestions. Highlight and click the center button. On this page, select the app from the list, and in this menu, click the center button to start the installation process. Give it a moment or two, just stay patient for a moment. It'll be done soon, and once it's installed, click the center button to launch the app. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? Well, I'll make it incredibly simple for you to get one, so you can browse without worry and unlock all those fantastic apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Go to the website on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to go right there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Next, pick your plan. You can even choose just one month to try it out and see the difference for yourself. After you get it, they'll send an email with your unique username and password. Once you have that, your Fire Stick will be completely safe and secure. Now, log into the IP Vanish app and click Connect. I also want to show you a couple of settings. Click the gear icon on the IP Vanish app. A menu will appear. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I click the center button and turn this on, you won't have to worry about manually turning your VPN on every time you power up. The VPN will connect automatically so you won't have to stop your movie to check if it's on. It'll do it for you. Okay, so now that we're completely safe, let's start grabbing some of these awesome apps. 
press the home button and go back to your apps. And once again, open the Unlin application and go back to the same category. Now folks, I want to show you the next five apps you should download to get free on-demand content, sports, and live content. You'll find five more apps we can install in this category. It's also super helpful to carefully read the descriptions so you understand what each app is, what it does, and what you need to do. Here's the first one, and also, by far, my most recommended app you need. You'll see an app name that gives you live content, pay-per-view, and spicy content. Just click on it, click download, and we'll simply wait for it to reach 100%. This might take a moment or two, just be patient. Depending on your internet speed, it might be super fast. We'll be moving on shortly. I promise this part doesn't last forever. This is part of the process. Then click Install App, slide over and click Install. Give it a moment. Yeah, here we are waiting again. Hang tight, it'll be done soon. After that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can grab more apps. Then you'll find an app name that provides you with all the sports content. Just highlight it and click Download. Here's the next progress bar. Let it fill up to 100%. I know, I know, it feels like the same step again, but this is part of the process. It shouldn't take long, so hang tight. As soon as you see the small box pop up, click Install App, slide over and click Install. I get it, another wait. Just be patient with this step too. We are almost done. Also, here is an app name that provides you with all the on-demand content. Just highlight it and click Download. Just like before, let it load all the way to 100%. Stick with me, we're almost in the final stretch. A little patience and we'll be moving on shortly. As soon as you see the small box pop up, click Install app, slide over and click Install. I know, more waiting, but it won't take long, promise. Next up, you'll find an app name that provides you with all the movies and all the TV shows. Just highlight it and click Download. Another download here, just let it climb to 100%. Don't worry, we're getting close to the end. I promise the ending is nearby. As soon as you see the small box pop up, click Install App, slide over and click Install. I know, another pause. Just a little patience and we'll move on. Now, some apps in my store need a separate player to work correctly. The app you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those. You'll actually see in its title that it mentions needing this other player app. It might seem a bit confusing now, but when you read its description here or when you're using the apps, you'll see it and it will all make sense. So, let's download that app player now. You'll find an app name that's the needed player. Click Download. Here's the next progress bar. I know, it feels like the same step again, but this is part of the process. This should be the last ones I promise. As soon as the small box pops up, click Install App, slide over and click Install. Another short wait here. Just be patient, we're nearly through it. Folks, it's that easy. We just installed five awesome apps. There are 85 in my store, so please don't limit yourself to the small examples I showed today in this video. My top favorite apps you will find in category number one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them daily. Explore the store and download as many of the apps as you want to try. They are all free, so feel free to download all of them if they can fit on your device. But now that you've downloaded everything you want, let's click the home button. Because once again, I want to go and find all those apps we just put on. And if you recall from earlier in the video, all you need to do is click on that icon with three squares and a plus sign. It displays all your apps. So what I want you to do is highlight one of those new apps, then click the three lines button, also known as the menu button on your remote. A menu will pop up. Click where it says move to front. You'll see the app move from the bottom to the top. Now click the home button here. From the home screen, where you always start, you'll have easy access to those apps right here. You won't have to search for them. 
Now, folks, I know that we downloaded some fantastic apps that provide us with free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. Before you ever open any of those apps, I always strongly suggest that you turn your VPN on first. Folks, I just want to express my sincere thanks to all my followers. It truly means a lot and helps me immensely. I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your day to help me achieve a goal. I look forward to your comments and seeing you very soon in the next video.